Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Those of us who are huge fans of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines know it has been a long, long wait to finally get a sequel. Of course, we were supposed to have one much earlier, but due to studio infighting, messiness, and just a bunch of things that I'm not going to bother to go into, we didn't get one. And it's been a long wait to find out how Paradox would recover from that situation and finally get the sequel out that so many players want. Well, it looks like we are going to get those answers a little bit earlier than expected. Of course, in June, they announced that they were going to do a big reveal sometime in September, and today they have finally announced that the reveal is actually going to come in the first week of September at PAX West in Seattle. For those of you who are not aware, at least in its original iteration, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is supposed to be based in Seattle. So hopefully this gives them the opportunity to do a lot of cool things. They said that Vampire the Masquerade is supposed to play a big part in PAX West September 1st through 4th. So it's probably not just going to be the game. They also talk a lot about the tabletop. Um, they talked about doing some live streaming sessions. So potentially they'll do some live role playing, things of that nature. But for those of you who are a huge fan of the property, this should definitely be something that you'll check out. I certainly will to find out what is going on with this game and whether or not we have anything to be excited about. Now, that brings up the question, am I excited about this reveal? Do I feel like there's a good chance that Paradox has figured out how to salvage this situation and still give us a classic game. And I, I, you, you all know me. I'm not the negative Nancy type. I don't down things just because, but, but being completely honest with you, no, I'm, I'm really not all that excited. I'm certainly not anticipating that we're going to get a game that was as good as the original. My hope is that we at least get a good game. That's really all that I'm asking for, because as I've said multiple times in other videos, good games that allow you to play as a vampire are really few and far in between. And in fact, I'm really looking forward to playing through Baldur's Gate 3 again as a starian to see if there's special content and dialogue options that I'll get simply for being a vampire and if it helps scratch that itch. But um, regardless, I'm not expecting a whole lot um, from this game, but just to be able to finally get another game that's based in this world again, I don't understand why we don't have more full-scale Vampire the Masquerade RPGs. It seems like such a fantastic setting to have RPGs in. We've got 20 or 30 D&D games, but we got one Vampire the Masquerade game, and hopefully we're going to get, I guess, one more sometime next year, but I really feel like this this world and all the rich lore that it has is just a fantastic opportunity to make incredible RPGs. And I wish there were more developers uh, taking advantage of that opportunity. And, you know, maybe this game will be what, what sparks some of that and motivates more developers to, to uh, take a closer look at this property. But I'm again, I'm just hoping for a good game. I'm not really expecting a classic. I'm not expecting to be necessarily wowed by this reveal. At this point, I'll be happy if it just comes out so we can get it out of the way. And then again, hopefully other developers or this developer again takes another crack at it and we just get more games in this universe let's get something out it's been way 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 too long since uh bloodlines got a sequel so i'll definitely be checking out what they do um let me know down in the comments if you all are excited for this if you all uh plan to check it out and, and plan to play it and yeah hope you all enjoy this video see you in the next one take care